Yo, what's up, SMS gang? It's your boy Omar SMS. We're back with another Apex Legends video. Well, in this video, we got 23 kills in an updated sense. Yes, I updated my sense a little bit, I tweaked it a little bit, and guess what? We found something that increases accuracy, guys. Yes, it will increase accuracy so much. So, if you guys want to watch this, make sure you watch the whole video for the accuracy tricks. Peace out. actually interesting. I feel like I'm so fast with this, but I don't know to honestly what to feel exactly 100%. I'm so fast, but yeah, okay. Somebody ran me. What are these guys doing? Oh There's more or no? Oh, okay, that sucked, that was GG's for him Next! Somebody behind? Oh, I can't see it. Bro, what the heck is this guy? What's wrong with this guy? Oh, that's insane. I have to take this. Oh, okay, I saw you. Oh, he's here. I saw you. Come here.
What's next? What's next? What's next? Come on. He's here. Come. Oh! That's a bot. No problem. Kill one. Saw the kill. I killed the two. Who's next? Who's next? Come on! One left! I heard him, Mr. Whisker here. Yeah. Oh, these, these guys are bots right now. These, these last guys are bots. Okay. How, how is possible? Like, the first guys were good and the last guys are bots. Yeah. These guys were very bad, man, at the end. They all had white shield, like this guy was camping the whole game <laughs> in a solo mode. Can you believe that? GG's. Uh, 23 kill. Let's go. For the accuracy on controller, which is the most crazy topic that nobody's talking about. And when we want to talk about accuracy, we jump into ALCs and say that most of the people have ruined their ALCs because of their mistake that they do. Well, this mistake is very common. It's very, very common. And this mistake is actually decreasing your feeling of aim assist and also not making you play that much good or making your own sense in ALC, which makes you go back to the default settings. So what are these problems? Let me discuss it very quick right here in the video and not make it a long video for you. So basically, I tested everything out right now just to make sure that it's not just an opinion or something that I'm talking about that I never tested. So right here, we have the ALCs. So my updated ALCs, okay, let me show you first my updated ALCs. My updated ALCs are this. Yes, there's tiny differences, which is maximum yeah, pitch speed and a very low pitch speed compared to before with the ADS. Now, the topic about the accuracy that we're talking about right now is that the sensitivity right here that is high it doesn't really matter so what do i mean by it doesn't really matter let me show you a quick example right here okay so first of all once you get used to the left and right which is very high there's one thing that can make this feeling still easy and it will not feel that high it will still feel that it's very easy to land shots with okay so it, it still feels like very easy to land headshots like you see i'm trying right here land as much as shots as I could can okay yes it's not gonna be perfect but we're still we're still trying our best to make sure that the aim is stable on the head okay so what we do basically right now is that or what you should do is that you can play on a high sense if you want for the people that try the high sense and then work out for them you can still play on a high sense but what you have to do is lower the pitch speed as much as you can so never put the pitch speed the same as the all speed. And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the ADS. But when we talk about the ADS, we have to make sure that the pitch speed is much, much, much lower than the all speed. And it doesn't really much uh, matter how much is lower. So what I have, what, what the idea I want to give you right now is that you have to lower the pitch speed as much as you can until you feel that your aim that is high sense is more comfortable. It's more accurate. Now, it's not just about high sense, even if you have a low sense. Okay, some people play on a low sense, for example, 150, and they put pitch speed 150. And they don't really feel that accurate with the aim. So, in order to be accurate, just lower the pitch speed as much as you can, and you'll be more accurate. Now, what, why this happens? I explained this in many videos of my videos. First of all, because up and down, you don't really need it that high, because we need to make sure that we aim on the head and torso and legs. So we make sure that we have the pitch speed is just low. Yaw speed, which is left and right, we need we need it fast, but some people prefer it low. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna just mention and tell you like play it fast, but the reason I play it fast is because the strafe on left and right is just so much faster. While the up and down, it really doesn't happen that much. The the enemy is not gonna jump all the time or crash all the time. 
So that's why up and down should be much slower than the speed, which is left and right. So this is the first thing I want to tell. The second thing, the disadvantage, one disadvantage that you will face, which is going to be very uh, obvious at the start, which is recall. You will feel that you have more recall in the up and down. Okay, you will feel that you have more recall. But once you get used to it, then you will end up with having a better aim for, of course, than before. Because you still have more accuracy and got used to the recall. But accuracy is something that, even if you get used to it, is still not going to be that consistent. Okay, so make sure that you have a low pitch speed. Now, the reason I'm playing Yao speed that is very uh, pitch speed that is very high on the hip fire is very very weird. I noticed that right here in the camera. I prefer for you guys to play on a low also pitch speed compared to the for the camera. Now, the only reason I put this on high pitch speed is because I honestly, to be honest, I don't really hip fire as much as I aim. Okay, if you know what I mean. So because of that, I would like my senses just to be overall high. And I feel like more comfortable right now with it. Even though the accuracy is bad now, it's worse. But still, my left and right up and down is just so much high overall. Which is, I really don't care about it that much. So that's why I just focus on the ADS. And our topic is going to be only on the ADS. Now, if you want to prefer also an accurate, an accurate hip fire, then I would recommend you... To lower the pitch speed as much as you can also. But don't make it that much low. Like don't make it so much low that it's barely like you can't go up and down. Alright. Make it low but not that low. Like not the same way as ADS. Make it like 300, 350 if you're playing max. It's really you, it's really personal preference right here if we want to say. But make it as much low as you can. And see how much your accuracy increase. So this is only the topic. I'm not going to talk about anything else right here. It's just talking about how to increase accuracy using pitch speed. Which is I mentioned very a lot of times in my previous videos. It actually also affects why the ALCs are better because ALC they don't tell you like look sense right here they just say look sense and ADS sense they don't tell you yaw speed and pitch speed but they fix it already when you put the look speed for you'll have a high yaw but a lower pitch speed which feels more accurate and consistent and that's why it's more con consistent to have default settings so yeah this is only th that's it about uh, playing why ALC are not consistent with the with the high pitch speed so that's it